talked about the possibility of a lights out situation many times. No matter how the calls, it is a very real possibility and we have a fading infrastructure in this country. And now we have the mainstream reporting that Madison, Wisconsin, Wisconsin's National Guard is coming together to prepare for a possible long-term mass power outage. This is going to be a big full-scale drill. It's going to go down for three days, and they're dubbing this Dark Sky. It's going to happen between May 15th through the 17th in Brown, Colome, Dane, Fond du Lac, Milwaukee, and other counties in the region. Utility companies, law enforcement, first responders are all going to be a part of this power outage simulation the National Guard says that the public may notice the military and an increased presence of them and emergency personnel during this exercise. They're saying that their emergency management community must be prepared to deal with a myriad of scenarios and challenges posed by a long-term mass power outage. And by training together, they can continue to build meaningful relationships and try to help solve the problem if it does happen as quickly as possible. Now, with this, the increased presence of military and everyone else, you have to pay attention to what's going on here. In AMRO, the National Guard is going to be going door to door to conduct welfare checks as part of this training. So if you guys are out there in that region, any residents in AMRO, you can expect to see soldiers going around the neighborhoods on May 16th, knocking on doors and what they're saying is passing out emergency preparedness information during the afternoon hours. Again, this training exercise is scheduled for the 15th through the 17th up in this region. If I can gather more information as we approach this, I will. If we can get anything from on the ground of this training event and everything that's going on, uh, I'll make sure to get that out there as well. But just wanted to give the heads up to what they're doing here. Yes, it is good and key to be able to train for certain things like this, but it raises a lot of questions. When people start to see a large military presence and they say, well, why are we training for specifically this? Well, if you read this article, they state this is going to be responding to an attack on their infrastructure. They say it clearly. Training for a mass, long-term power outage situation. And I suggest that you get a plan and do the same for your region. Just because the, the local you know, emergency services and National Guard aren't operating in your area at the moment, you need to not be dependent on all that. You need to have your own, own plan and you need to practice it. Here recently I went over power consumption from a solar generator. It's things like that you need to know. You have to have water sources, food sources, shelter, to be able to heat and cook, be able to purify your water, things like that. We're going to continue to talk about this in great detail. But I'll leave a link below. Wanted to give the heads up. Until next time, this has been Dabu7. As I always say. Have a plan. Peace.